A couple's utility smart meter suddenly explodes. They filed a claim with BGE to pay for the damages, but it was denied. WMER 2 News' Mallory Safaste looks into how often this happens and if homeowners can do anything to prevent it. Because if it matters to you, it's a matter for Mallory. The melted meter caused around $1,500 in damage to the Kales home, so they turned to BGE for reimbursement and answers, but say they aren't happy with their response. A mystery of sorts involving a smart meter. It happened at night in October. It was like 10, 15 at night, and I was down in the family room watching TV, and I heard a softer sound, and then I heard what I thought was a motorcycle or dirt bike backfiring, and then... The lights went out and the generator kicked on. Susan and Richard Kale didn't know what happened until the electrician came in the morning. He said, you better call BG&E. He said, that meter exploded. And there was melted metal on the glass plate of the meter and it had melted the siding and you can see a little bit where the soot is on the telephone box. This isn't something he'd seen before, so they called BGE. And the technician didn't come till 515 in the evening. So he said he had never seen anything like that happen. And then the next day they sent somebody to follow up and look at it, and he said he'd never seen anything like that happen. In total, they paid around $1,500 for repairs. The Kales filed a claim with BGE, thinking they'd be reimbursed, but several days later, they received this letter. They were denying our claim because that was normal wear and tear on the meter. She estimates the meter is around eight years old. BGE investigated the event and could not find any willful default or neglect on their part that led to the power outage surge. The cause was equipment failure due to normal wear and tear. We don't bother this stuff, you know, I don't even touch. I just cut grass around here, don't even bother with it, you know, just something like that just happened unexpectedly. We checked with the Maryland State Fire Marshal. In the last 10 years, there have been 38 reported fires connected to smart or regular meters. There's tens of thousands, of not millions of these smart meters located across the state. It's not something we're really focused on, but certainly was something we want to keep an eye on. The Maryland Public Service Commission, the agency that regulates public utilities, only gets notification from utilities of meter events when property damage exceeds $50,000 or results in a hospitalization or fatality. They said they're only aware of one meter-related incident in the last few years. BGE was not available for an on-camera interview and said they cannot comment on the Kale's claim since it's a customer issue. This is new. This is new. And these down here is all new. The Kales feel it's the utility company's equipment. They should take responsibility. And with no explanation on what exactly caused the failure or what they can do in the future, they worry about it happening again. Yeah, I'll tell you the truth, I'm afraid to go back upstairs to go to bed because you just, you know, you don't know. BGE told us they inspect residential gas meters once every three years, commercial meters once a year, and provided general safety tips, including never tamper with the meter, keep the area around it clear, don't build anything that'll block access to the meter, and in the winter, keep it clear of ice and snow. For WMAR 2 News, I'm Mallory Safaste. Uh, Mallory also checked with the Office of the People's Council, who said these matters are generally an issue for homeowners insurance. However, the Kales claim theirs was less, was less than their deductible.